Good morning and welcome to Epsio Airport in Rome. It is a travel day and perhaps one of the biggest, most challenging travel days we have had ever. Two years ago, we were in Thailand. The pandemic happened, we were forced out. We didn't get to finish our travels. We didn't get to finish our year around the world. And two years later, in the midst of another variant surge, of course, <laughs> we're going back to Thailand. Finally, heading back to the land of smiles, y'all. We are so excited, but the stakes are pretty huge for this oh one. Gosh. First, we could end up getting denied entry into Thailand because y'all, the entry requirements were so complex that who knows how somebody's gonna interpret something there. And if we made a mistake, I don't think we did because we've researched and planned for this for like two full months. Also, the second huge stake, we could get forced into mandatory quarantine if we test positive for COVID upon arrival or at any time during a one week testing period when you're under monitoring right. when you arrive in Thailand. Right. We had to test beforehand, which we did and we were negative. You test when you arrive and then you test again a few, several days later. And even if you're asymptomatic or if you sat next to somebody near you on the plane, they might tell you to go into quarantine and they may even force you to go to the hospital, even if you're asymptomatic. Hopefully none of that happens. <laughs> it's, it's wild, y'all. We'll give you much more detail, but the first challenge of the day is just checking in. Let's see if we can make it in. <laughs> okay, let me put all my documents away. I came prepared. We had to show the COVID test, the vaccination card, our passenger locator form, and passports and stuff. But it all went very smoothly so far, so. Now we just need to get through security and carry on with the day. Ooh, one challenge done. That's exciting. We're connecting through Brussels and then final destination is Bangkok. And I was a little bit worried that we wouldn't get both tickets all the way into Bangkok, but we did. You know, we've had almost every international flight that we have booked canceled so far. So these going through is like a huge win for us right now. Let's get through security. Do you have your priority pass card? made it into the Plaza Premium Lounge here. And we got access through our Amex Platinum card. If you don't know, with either your Amex Platinum or your Chase Sapphire card, you get priority pass, as well as access to other lounges across the world in various airports. Specifically today, we're leveraging the Amex Platinum to get into this lounge for free. Y'all, and this one is a very classy lounge. They have some pretty good food options, hot and cold, really delicious looking cappuccinos and coffee drinks. We're gonna sit here eat our breakfast, drink our coffees, and take in the views of the flights taking off. So we mentioned that to get into Thailand, it's really complicated and there's a lot of risk involved. So I wanted to outline what the requirements are for you to get into Thailand because they're pretty complex. Also, we're going in through the test and go quarantine free program that they set up to do this. First, you have to be fully vaccinated and have a certificate of that vaccination. Second requirement, you need to be from one of the approved countries that is on Thailand's approved country list. I think there, at this time there's like 60 something countries. Unfortunately, when we originally were planning to go to Thailand, we were in Mexico exploring Oaxaca and the different regions. And while we were in Oaxaca, Thailand announced that Mexico was not on the approved country list. And in order to get into Thailand, you have to be in an approved country for 21 consecutive days days we weren't going to be able to do that to be able to take advantage of award flight availability in December around the holidays and to meet the 21 requirement when we flew from Mexico to the U.S. So we booked a trip to Italy and explored and Italy is on the approved country list so now we can go to Thailand. Third requirement you have to have a negative PCR test RT-PCR test at least 72 hours before you depart to head out to Thailand. The fourth requirement, which was kind of a, a big one, it's a, it's a cost, right? And this is COVID-19 specific health insurance from an insurer that is approved by Thailand that will cover your hospital stay, hotel stays, anything in case you get sick. The next requirement is you have to pre-book a hotel reservation with an SHA plus hotel or your quarantine until you receive a negative PCR test upon arrival. So you'll basically get a transfer from the airport to your hotel. Mills are usually included. You can find them on Agoda or on the Thai government website. Book your hotel. They set everything up for you. Give you your test upon arrival. And once you test negative, 
free to go on until you gotta take your next test so you can continue traveling throughout Thailand. And the last big requirement to get into Thailand is the Thai Pass. You have to register for the Thai Pass online and get approval. You'll get a QR code in order to get into Thailand upon arrival. And when you apply for the Thai Pass online, you have to provide a lot of these other requirements and documents that I just talked about. I think they also have other quarantine things set up through the Phuket sandbox that you can still get into. But luckily, we're going to Thailand. All right, it's about that time. Let's board. Wow. Since we're flying Brussels Airways business class, we get access to their business class lounge, y'all, and this place is impressive. We walked in, they have Belgian chocolates on display, and they've got Belgian beers on tap over there with champagne. It's nice, it's like a whisper of an actual Belgian waffle. Okay, the price of a one-way ticket from Europe to Bangkok, if you want to buy the business class flight outright, was $4,500 per person one way. We used 110,000 miles per person, and all we had to do was pay taxes and fees for our award redemption, and that was only $82 per person. So the value of our point came out to a little over four cents, which is double what you typically think you would get through Chase or Amex. So if you think doing travel hacking is like unachievable for you or it's overly complicated, it's really not. All you gotta do is if you have a really good credit card like the Chase Sapphire Preferred or Chase Sapphire Reserve or Amex Platinum, you can just transfer your points to some of the transfer partners go to the airline portal, see what routes you can get, play around with it, and you can find really good deals. My advice is always try to get at least four cents or more per mile in terms of value. And all you do is basically subtract what it would have cost you to buy the flight outright, minus the taxes and fees and other things that you pay, and divide that by the miles and you get your price per mile and see what value you get. It's achievable, you can do it, and you can enjoy business class flights on the long haul that are 10 plus hour flights nonstop and lie flat in your seats. And lounges, woo woo. Woo woo. Here I have made some ketongs with uh, milk chocolate and as toppings I used a little bit of violets. Nice. Enjoy it. Thank you, thank you. I can't turn down chocolates. I can't turn down chocolate. They're so beautiful. I'm gonna eat them really fast before I get around people again. <laughs> it's very good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, there's no people Five, down there. Four, three, I can't do it that fast. Two. You gotta enjoy it. <laughs> We gotta celebrate the wins, y'all. We just got in. They checked all of our documents and they're letting us board our flight to Thailand. Yes! Yeah, we do. It's like a little cubby. We got our first little Salati Ka, which means hello in Thai if you're not familiar and with the music and the design in here. I already feel at peace. I'm just tired from a long day, but I'm just, I'm so happy. Yeah. Just, this is, it's awesome. still several more major, like, you know, hurdles. kind of hurdles to clear, but we're on our way. All right, boarding is complete. We're getting ready for takeoff, so we're going to do a little speed tour of our seats here real quick. Like I mentioned, we're cozy, sitting right next to each other side by side, which is awesome because we feel a little bit tucked in yeah. and further away from people. Quick tour in front of us are our screens over here. Have our little tray tables. We got pillow, blanket, slippers. Yeah, that's true, that's not how my seatbelt is. Cheers, everybody. We've been brought a nice glass of Piper, whatever it is, the fancy champagne. It's really nice. I don't think I've had this one before. Has a really strong apple note for anyone who's interested, but I'm just happy sitting in our seat. We've got all the space in the world, a glass of champagne. Life is okay, you know? Our dinner service has been served. We ordered a vegetarian special meal, the Lacto Ovo. So we didn't get like a Thai meal, which is a little sad, but that's totally on us. You can order like an Indian vegetarian, Asian vegetarian, and we just did like a regular one. We've got some kind of either mashed potato, mashed cauliflower, carrots, broccoli. 
potatoes are nice. I haven't had mashed potatoes in a minute. I was a little bit nervous. I was like, oh man, we should have ordered the Asian meal. Sounds like it's delicious. Welcome to the amenity kit tour. The bag is absolutely adorable. It's a beautiful lavender purple. On the inside, we have a little travel hairbrush, which I feel like you don't often see in these amenity kits. Love that. Toothbrush and toothpaste. We've got some lotion. Ooh, mouthwash, another that I feel like you don't see as often. But you know what you don't see is floss. Floss your teeth, people. And finally, ooh, a full-size chapstick. Love that. You can never have enough chapstick on a plane. They're very drying. Stay hydrated, stay moisturized. That's a nice little pack. And this is a real reason you book business class. My flat seats. Delicious. <laughs> Can y'all believe this? They have turned down service. They put a little mattress pad on our seat. It's like you're in a little capsule hotel in the sky. Pretty nice. Pretty cozy. Good night. Good night. Cabin crew prepare for landing. Eleven hours later, just landed in Bangkok. We're about to get hit our big answer and see if we officially get in. So we're two years later to finally be standing on Thailand soil. <sighs> Not real sure what all these chairs are, but there are a ton of blue chairs just lined up here when you get off the plane. Luckily, they're not full of people right now. So far, that was super easy. They checked our Thailand pass QR code, they checked our PCR test, and they checked our quarantine form and the TM6 immigration form that we filled out on the plane. And it was super fast getting through. We're heading to immigration now. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> We're officially inside Thailand. It took about 15 minutes total to get through everything. It was freaking breezy, y'all. Like, I don't want to jinx it. We still have to test negative a couple more times, but we're about to get our bags. Like, yeah. that's awesome. It. You wow. freaking did all that research. Oh my off. gosh, y'all. Yeah. So I will put in the description below and a link probably to our website with the requirements and what all it took as of today. Things could change. <laughs> Oh, you will say hi. Thanks, love. Let's go. Okay, so we got through customs pretty easily. No problem. Just walk straight out. And right when you walk out, there are a bunch of little booths that are numbered with all the SHA plus hotels listed on them. We just asked somebody for our hotel. We're staying at the Arte Hotel. And they brought us over here to the waiting room and they had our name on the list and waiting. waiting to get our private transfer to our hotel. Alright, we just arrived here to our hotel, got all checked in, picked our meals for the 24 hour period, and now we're waiting to get our PCR test. I think I'll get in our room and wait for our results. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it is. We're alone. I think we're alone. I think we're alone now. It doesn't seem to be anyone around. Okay, now it popped in my head. <laughs> anyway, we made it to our room. We cannot leave until our test comes back. According to the schedule, I think our test, because we got here after 9 a.m., will come back at midnight tonight. Hopefully it's all good. The testing was no big deal compared to the one we had in Italy and in Mexico. It was like a tongue swab and then a not too deep nose swab. It wasn't a full brain tickle, I feel like. So that's good because I'm always expecting a thorough test. <laughs> anyway, let's look around. This is a nice hotel room. It is. Let me settle my stuff down. We, oof, we got in, y'all. I'm so glad not to be cold. It is warm. I just take my sweater <laughs> off. It's very exciting. Nice. What's that view look like? Pretty sweet. We are gonna get cleaned up, settle in. We'll check back in when the food comes here and let y'all know how the meals are. Good afternoon and good morning. <laughs> we took one of those like deep, deep afternoon naps. The kind you only get when you're jet lagged. 
It was a mistake, I know, I know. But we can't exactly go outside and expose ourselves to the sun. We can't leave the room. So we took a delicious nap. And then they ding ding, knocked on the door with lunch. And lunch was pumpkin curry, oh my gosh. It was absolutely delicious. It was heavy on the lemongrass, which I really liked and it had mm, it's a little bit of spiciness. It was the perfect first meal in Thailand, you know, especially in quarantine. It was great. We got some hot cabbage, rice, pumpkin curry, and a little chocolate cake that I think I'm gonna save for later in case I get hungry later, but A plus delicious. And now I'm just gonna chill out, I guess, until dinner. What else is there to do? But first meal in quarantine, now, I'm not complaining. Y'all, yeah, we just got our results back at 9 p.m. We thought we were gonna have to wait till midnight. And you can tell by my excitement, we're both negative. They're like, you can go out, go have fun. And we're like, we gotta go to Chiang Mai tomorrow. Yeah, we waited. <laughs> we have like a one day gap, basically for tomorrow night that we didn't have a hotel for, in case we had to stay here for some reason. Um, and so I'm right now booking a hotel for tomorrow night, like three hours ahead of the day. It'll be tomorrow in three hours. <laughs> I'm tired. I, I've fallen asleep already because of jet lag, but I woke my little self up to book this hotel and I'm gonna go right back to sleep. And we'll see y'all in Chiang Mai. Hello from the future. We are actually currently rounding out our time in Thailand. We forgot to update you about how our last test went. We didn't want to leave you hanging because that was an experience. Yeah, I think we spoke a little bit too soon when we said that first PCR test wasn't that bad because the second one that we got at the public hospital was pretty much like brain surgery. So there is this lady decked out in hazmat PPE gear in a pressurized chamber and this couple went before me and I'm sitting behind them and they were gagging, yelling, like legit screaming out loud. The lady, the nurse had to actually hold them so they didn't yank back to rip mm -hmm. the like swab out of their nose as you saw none of that i saw all that and i was like oh my god these are other foreigners by the way oh yeah other tourists yeah. for sure the locals did not seem bothered there there was a couple of local locals that were doing the same thing but a couple didn't seem bothered at all jordan called it a swab that is a generous term for what they stuck up our nostril it was a like a plastic scrapey thing in fact yeah. I like think I'm being tough and I'm like, okay, it's fine, I'm ready. And I go up and do it. And she does, she like preemptively grabs my shoulder, which is a little disconcerting. And she goes and it just keeps going, it hurt. And then I'm all done and I'm like, oh my God, what was that? And I walk up to Jordan and I'm like, is my nose bleeding? And he was like, no, but I, I know what you mean. I'm like, legitimately, I think I, my nose is bleeding. They go so far. So far, y'all. It was the worst one we ever had, but thankfully we were both negative. Thank goodness, because as the thumbnail implied, there was kind of a lot of um, financial risk yeah. on the line, both for being denied entry, which would have been about a thousand dollars worth thousand. of pre-bookings and insurances that we paid for. We got in, y'all saw that. But beyond that, would have been several more thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars in total. That we would have worth lost. of hospital stays because they will force you to stay at the hospital if you were positive. So it, we were nervous at the time. Yeah. I remember Jordan saying like, I can't believe anybody would go on a short term trip here right now because the risk no. is too high. If you test positive while you're here, your test, your trip is done, right? Luckily, we at the very least thought, well, I guess if we were forced at the hospital, we're still intending to be here a long time. For a few it, months. It was mitigated, but nobody wants to be at the hospital. <laughs> the testing stuff has changed slightly since then, which was only like a month or two ago, yeah. but it's changed. You can get all the latest at the link below. We'll give you the information about what the current situation is, but it was wild <laughs> times. But lucky for y'all, since we kind of forgot to update you till the very end, literally we're leaving tomorrow, we know that we got up to so much good stuff in Thailand. We have been full-time traveling here four months and we have the content to prove it. We went to Northern Thailand, Chiang Mai, Bangkok. We went down South. We went to the islands, Pipi, Koh Lanta, sunshine every day. And we stayed sweaty the whole time and we can't wait to bring all of that Thailand content to you guys. So with that, we'll say, see you in the next one.